Time now for Options Insight. I'm Abigail Doolittle. Joining me today is Kevin Kelly of Benchmark Investments. Kevin, great to have you here on set. It's been a little while. And we have tremendous markets to talk about because we were just talking about how we both are having a hard time believing how far, how fast, how overextended, bearish RSIs, you know, some possibly bearish divergences for the equity index, uh, complacency that VIX is suppressed, volatility is suppressed. Talk to us about what you're seeing here. Yeah, what we're seeing actually is a lot more people go into the call market as well. We're seeing open interest there actually kind of pick up, wow, right? So, so bull- everywhere, so not bullish even bets. Yeah, and, and, and one of the I looked at two really sort of safe haven markets, especially today, to see where implied volatilities are, and that's the utility space as well as the real estate space, and it's significantly lower, forty percent less implied volatility than the overall market, right? So you're even seeing that in the safe havens, not much volatility coming, and so that's it's actually signaling that the Fed is still going to stay accommodative, right? And so people are going into the safe haven markets, even though they're trading at, you know, historic highs, right? Think about the utilities trading at 25 times earnings, 28 times earnings. That's that's pretty high. For so is this space. all about the Fed then? Because when we think about the coronavirus, yeah. we still don't know the true uh, impact, economic impact of that uh, yeah. tragedy. We don't know really what the impact will be on the global economy. Yeah. Uh, and yet we have stocks, risk assets going back full steam again. Is that the Fed? And can the Fed, uh, do they have that magic bullet? Yeah, it's, a, it's absolutely the Fed because people think economic numbers are going to be weak and also look at yields across the world, right? Go to Germany, you're getting negative rates. And even today, when you put your capital to work in the fixed income markets, you're getting negative real rates, right? So you've got to go into to an asset class that will produce you real rates of so return. So lots of FOMO. When the music stops, Tons though, of it, FOMO. it could be sort I of sort interesting. I, I get it personally and professionally. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there. But turning to your trade, Crown Castle. Yeah, a great way to pre- uh, prevent FOMO in the 5G market is actually going into Crown Castle because they're going to benefit from the build out that's going to happen from the Sprint T-Mobile deal that just got just got approved, as well as Dish having to spend tons of money. So what you want to do is you want to participate synthetic long. So sell a put right around the 160 level, buy a call for 160, and you've got, you're you're actually getting paid to do that. So it's just like buying the stock, but you've got a limited upside and you're only spending a little. And here's why. Today we have about 7 billion devices connected to the internet. We are going to go to 75 billion devices connected to the internet by 2025. The only way that can happen is we put more antennas on those cell phone towers that Crown Castle has. Kevin Kelly of Benchmark (laughs) Investments, great to have you here as always. Can't wait to have you back again for Options Insight sometime soon. From New York, this is Bloomberg.